Bienvenidos a Opulent LD TV. Desde St. Paul, Minnesota, directamente a Miami, Florida. Trayéndote todo el fuego. Yeah, man, see, you keep talking this to be continued on the paperwork. To be continued on the paperwork. You ain't got no paperwork. And if you really read what you say you read, you'll see that it says, agree to testify to no knowledge of. Why they leave that part out? See, that's what I be saying. You can't take the word of a fuck nigga over a real nigga. I don't know what's going on out here. But the days you fuck niggas word will come to an end. See, you about to be a new wave out here. Y'all don't even know it. Everybody that got locked up in my era, they on the way out. These the 70 babies, 76, early 81, 82, 83 babies. The ones that did the 20 years and this and that, they on the way out now. These the ones that's on the way out. So certain shit you fuck niggas been getting away. Like the people's chump, as they would call them, the people's chump. Saying a little slick shit, you know what I'm saying? Man. Number one, he don't even know how to read paperwork. That's number one. See, y'all just think paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. So you got to know how to read paperwork first. That's the thing about paperwork. You got to know how to read it. But when you a nigga that got rule 35s and 5K1s and shit like that, they don't read paperwork. They don't know how to read it because they never used it to get out. You feel me? They never used paperwork to get out. How you go from your paperwork? See, one thing about the feds that people probably don't know. See, when you got life in the feds, life in the feds mean life. When you get your time compensation sheet as they were called it your time compensation sheet gonna say deceased that was your time compensation sheet she say because it calculates your good time for those that don't know so when you get a time compensation sheet you got life say it's deceased so there's no way that your paperwork say deceased and you beat me out you feel me that's why i be telling them man there's more to it you're not telling on the dead what what the people gonna get out of that this the feds we talking about now you told on the dead they gonna let you out. They got a body, a physical body with a life sentence on it. You in here, but they gonna let you out for some people they can't even lock up. That don't even make sense. You feel me? But I know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I know you got a handle up. You feel what I'm saying? Then you got this nigga whack. You know what I'm saying? Whack, how the fuck you know what a nigga putting on another nigga book? Nigga, you don't know what the fuck going on. You just running your mouth. Whack, you don't know what this man put on this man book or none of that shit, nigga. How the fuck you know that? Because you just running your mouth. That's what I be saying. You don't say nothing about no motherfucking real G, no real gangster, and you ain't got no motherfucking paperwork on it, nigga. You got to produce the paperwork. When you talk, you got to produce the paperwork, nigga. And you know, you already got fuck shit on your name anyway, nigga. You ain't official like that. You want to know. Opulent, LDTV. And I'm back in this thing. Look. Blessings, family. I've been sitting back peeping and watching this alleged BG snitching situation for for a little bit now. I mean, I know it's new, but I've just been sitting back in the cup peeping, seeing what comes out, watching the information or whatever, because I didn't want to just jump out the window and act like I'm defending BG. Like I said, I don't know the the gist of the situation but a reliable OG well he wants to go by freeze now he wants to drop the OG because there's so many flawed OGs out here <laughs> and I respect that totally he is 100% correct on that there's so many flaw OGs well he's basically exposing Terrence uh, hot boy Williams the people's champ he's calling the people chump and he was exposing the whack 100 basically whack 100 is out here telling uh he's basically lying out here basically he has we all know whack 100 he stays uh tongue wrestling with somebody on what is that app clubhouse yeah i stayed the hell away from clubhouse but 
you can catch Ab arguing with somebody on any given day. He's always arguing with somebody. That's just what he does. He has clearly monetized that. And he loves trying to test people's gangster. And as we've seen, he's also, if for those who are actually following the story, he, I guess, told Boosie that is on site. Like he, he literally trying to trick trick you off the street. So it's, it's, it's best to stay the fuck from around uh, cats like this. Um, <laughs> But anyways, OG Freeze, he basically says, like, um, Wack clearly left out some valuable information that proves that BG didn't snitch. And he did that by design. His Wack 100's intention is to basically kill a person's character and reputation on the streets. That's his whole end-all goal, basically. But... Hey, man, if you know Wack 100, uh, people like him, man, stay away from these type of individuals. These individuals will have you in jail, in prison quicker than a motherfucker because you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna want to touch their ass. You're going to want to do it, so it's best to stay from around them. <laughs> um, I love seeing men who, you know, be free with their families. So uh, just stay clear. But that's all I got in this situation. Oh, you know what? I do got something else for you. BG responded. Here it is. And to see that you got real jits, real fans that will flip over just the imp of some clout. Like when you got niggas that know what the business is, that will sit ill cost a little hurt niggas. It'll cost a little hurt niggas. But we understand and, and we go by head. Look, and, and first, and first, I was feeling some type of way, but, you know, the niggas who opinion matter reached out to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I, 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 I've been paying attention to this internet, right? And, and this internet a fool, you know what I mean? Like, this shit a beast, you know what I mean? Like, you know, the internet undefeated and truth don't need no co-signer, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, once I talked to my real jail niggas reached out to me and, and they heard about it. And then the niggas on the streets that I know standing on law and standing on business, you know, they like, man, listen, man, I don't even pay that shit no mind, man. You know what I'm saying? Niggas just trying to, you know, use your light to bring them out their dogmas. And there you have it, family. I love that response. I love that BG is tapping in with the the trill ones and not going to pay this bullshit no mind because for those who know BG, y'all know what he's on and y'all know what he be about. But, hey, man, it's, it's better to play chess and not checkers because, hey, man, in 2024, no matter what, don't let nobody talk you out of your joy or, and don't let nobody talk you or trick you off these streets. Uh, make this a mantra. So, hey, what do you think about this situation? Hop in my comments. Let's converse about this. Smash my like button. Blessings to the mighty LDBC. I am Opulent LDTV. Reminding you that when you're in these streets, prosper energetically. I'm gone.